Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you could join me today. Um, this is uh, January the 8th of 2015, so Happy New Year. I'm uh, reading today in a passage in the letter of 2 Timothy. It's Paul's letter to Timothy, chapter 2. When Paul says to Timothy, he says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things which you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, these entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. One of the most important jobs of a pastor teacher is to uh, disciple others. That means to train them in the things that I have learned uh, through my years of ministry and study of the Word of God and entrust them to others so that the others that I teach can multiply and to teach others what they've learned from me and probably from many others. But in this passage it says, the things which you've heard from me. Uh, you can't really learn how to teach others if you don't listen and if you don't apply yourself. So one of the things I want to encourage you to do in this new year is to begin a, a program of reading the Bible every day and just be simple about it. Just say, Lord, pray, pray to the Lord every day and just say, Lord, help me to understand what I'm reading today so that I can apply it in my life and so that I can model it for others. That's a good prayer to pray. And then, and it says, uh, the things you've heard in the presence of many witnesses, uh, there are always people watching you and me. And the way that you and I choose to live and to use our words is very important because either we will be a good witness for Jesus Christ or we will be a bad witness for Jesus Christ or fail. And when he says this, uh, in the presence of many witnesses, I've found in my life people are watching me all the time at unexpected times when I don't think anybody's watching me and I, maybe I'm wearing my blue jeans and, a, and an old shirt and whatever, somebody will walk up to me, Pastor Rick, and they'll talk to me. And I want you to know you have people that are watching you all the time. So the things that you do are very important even when you're not at work or on official business because you have, like I do, many witnesses. And it says, these entrust to faithful men. Over the years, I've learned that there are different approaches to teaching. One is to get before a large group and to try to share as much information as I can with a large group of people, hoping that that group of people will absorb the things I've just taught them and go out and apply it in their life. But the truth is, a lot of people listen and they walk out of the room and they forget what they just heard. Some people are careful listeners. They take notes and they think about what I've written. Sometimes they want a copy of my manuscript. They want to go over it again later and think about it and apply it in their life. These are the people I find to be faithful. Faithful in church attendance, faithful in reading their own Bible, faithful in prayer, faithful in if I ask them to do something, they, uh, they get with it and they, and they go and apply it in their life. So it is most important for you and for me to find those few people in our life who are faithful. People that you and I can teach, people we can enlist to work with us on something so they're learning from us and, and be in prayer for them so that they will learn. And someday when we pass off the scene, they will be equipped, strong, trained, and faithful in the work that God assigns to his children. So. I want to encourage you this year to make a commitment, if you will, to uh, seek people that you can equip and train, people who will be faithful and who will multiply your life and take it on and share faith with others, okay? God bless you.